Oopsie. Hi Libra, welcome to your unexpected reading for October 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Royal Mystic Tarot. Love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well. This is intended to be a romantic love reading but it may resonate in other areas of your life. <clears throat> Five of Cups. So we got having to make the best of a situation or being at the crossroads and trying to decide if you want this situation still because this is all it's ever going to be. All right. Some disappointment and sadness, if nothing else. What else for Libra? The unexpected for Libra. What's for Libra? Two of Wands. All right, so there's that. Got that to look forward to, right? Death card. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Three of Wands. Temperance. Hold on a minute. Also start to formulate a question. A little later in the video, I'm going to have a, a coin flip. So just get a question brewing in your mind. This is going to, you know... A lot will be illuminated. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but things will be illuminated in the reading. Um, but just as an extra, we got a, a coin flip coming. All right, for the Libra. Knight of Wands. Okay. So you could have be dealing with um, a Scorpio, Scorpio, Leo. Sagittarius. All right. So you're looking to the future after an ending. <clears throat> Is that what's going on here? You're, you're looking at some going in a different direction. Decisions got have to be made. What's this Knight of Cups for Libra? What's the horses? All right. So, uh, Ten of Wands, what's this Knight of Wands about? For Libra, Knight of Wands. Five of Swords, oof. Ten of Cups. What's this Ten of Cups about? You know, what's this? This is just someone who wasn't willing to make the necessary sacrifice. Is that what this is? What's his death card about? Oof. Ace of Cups. So this is you slowly working your way out of a relationship that you thought quite highly of or thought was going to lead to maybe more than it was. Um, this is either you turning away an offer um, or withdrawing, you know, or having an offer rejected or you turning away an offer. It looks like this is somebody that just is like, well, I got to go. I'm just going to, you know, things have to end here. I just, I can't do this anymore. And I, maybe it's because they were never really that, um, into the relationship. This could be somebody that was kind of out for, um, they just, there there wasn't enough to hold their interest. And the thing is, is that they have kind of big designs and big plans for what they want for their future. And so that's what their, that's, that's where their mind is. It's not so much about the emotional connection. This is someone that has um, their eye, sort of like an, an outcome set in their mind, either about things or how someone's going to be, or it's, it's, it could be that they're very fickle or they just want more or they want less of this, but they have kind of this fixed idea in their head about what they want their future to look like um, and what they want to provide or be provided for that sort of thing. So this is just, it's like they're, they were never really in it because they were always kind of wanting, wondering what more there could be or what less there could be, you know, wondering, all right, I've got this, what I want here, but what if I had this from, what if I had, you know what I mean? What's this three of wands about? It's just three of wands. Knight of swords, and what's this temperance about? 
for Libra. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is... It's almost like you were kind of under yourself doing your own thing. And then here comes this person back in. Or here comes a situation. It could be new, could be old, but it, from the way it looks, it looks like this is somebody you've, you've, uh, that is familiar to you. And there might have been kind of a, you know, this, the, the maybe a, a couple of months or a couple of weeks or whatever. And then just as quickly as it came in, it ended. Um, and it could be that you're the one that decided, you know what, this, that we can't go back. Like we can't, you can never go back to the way it once was. It can be better, it can be worse, but there, it doesn't look like this person wanted anything more or anything different than the way it was before. So here they come, or here is a person that just wasn't really interested in growing, maybe just wanted kind of the hookup or just wanted to keep it intermittent, didn't want really any kind of commitment or to transition to the next level. And either you or they decided that, you know what, this was, we should have left it alone or this is the last straw or yeah, it's just not going to work. Yeah, no, nothing more than this can ever come of that. Um, might have even been some sadness in realizing that, but um, it just, it is what it is. And then I, it's almost like you are being taken in a different direction. It could be that you find out that there were more, it was more than just you. This could be that you find out that you weren't the only one they were kind of having these um, dalliances with. This could be just this person's MO. And I think that's the surprising thing because you might have thought you had a chance or that you two were on the same page as far as how you felt about each other. Um, and it wasn't. This is someone that just is, for as quick as they're in something, they're also out. <clears throat> and they just, it's, this person is definitely on the move and they're always on to the next biggest, greatest, more interesting, better thing. They just, they're just very busy. And I think you, um, were more invested in this than they are. And I think the, the surprising thing is realizing that it really is over because it never really started. Looking back, this is, it was always intermittent or you, you might've always been giving more or more into it than they were and it could be that you find out um, that you weren't the only one this happened with or to this is this person's mo that they just they're they kind of dance in between commitment you know when when it's almost like when you have their attention it's wonderful but then they can cast a really cold shadow also but when they do have when you do have their attention it's enough to make you feel like there's something really there um, this person could be very charismatic. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Chewy. <laughs> I don't want to blow the microphone out. <laughs> um, excuse me. This person could have been very charismatic. Very just, like I said, when you were the center of attention, you were definitely the center of attention with them. And it looks like you're going to not just withdraw from this, but it, it could be that you're just going to, this has kind of done a number on you. And, and I mean, it, on the one hand, it's like it is what it is and you get that. But at the same time, you're like, you know what? I need to just really take a minute here and really think about what, like some of you might be feeling like, oh my gosh, was I duped the whole time? Um, others of you might be feeling like, you know what, I'm just going to take a break from the whole dating scene in general. I'm just going to choose a different direction. I'm going to choose to focus on things. And you go right back to um, just working on fortifying yourself and working on things and doing your day to day and you're um, just in that area of your life. But you're not really looking right now for any other um, romantic prospects. Because this one kind of, this, this was a lot to unpack for you. It was, it affected you um, more so probably than you were expecting it to, especially in light of the unexpected information that this, you weren't the only one, that there was other people that they were having this, a similar relationship with or similar, you know, interaction with. All right, get that question ready. 
Ready? I'm doing this just because it makes a loud noise. All right, so get your question ready. Libra, what was your question? I'm not going to have one. Sometimes I do, but nothing's coming in. I feel pretty sure about this, so it's not like I'm on the fence. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, I meant to get it on the thing. It was landed like that, so it's just loud. <laughs> it says yes, so whatever your question was, the answer is yes. All right. So we got, let's see, two, three, four. Four Libra. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. All right. So again, kind of doing your own thing under yourself. It could be that you're at the crossroads cr trying to decide if you should consider. Um, but you know what, though? Honestly, it feels like you'd be settling. And it feels like you're doing this just in the name to of maintaining this connection that you at one time probably thought was so great or just could lead to something the potential was there but it, it takes two and this person's just not that into it and this is you instead of i think deciding it could be that you're waffling and trying to make something out of this or being like well i'm not that emotionally invested we could just keep it casual we could no you can't there was a connection here and and it could be that you're trying to save face or that you don't want to appear but you're not the only one this happened to you're going to find that out unexpectedly so and this is about you going you know what i'm out i'm i'm just going to go back to doing what i was doing before this entered my life and and get back on the horse and do my own thing and but this is also you kind of withdrawing to deal with this and process this because you still have pretty profound feelings for this person and it's not, it's twofold because it's not that just that you're withdrawing from this situation from the person, but you're also probably going to take a break from dating in general. You might minimize your social interaction, even with friends. Um, just be, it feels like you just really kind of want to be alone and immerse yourself in keeping yourself busy and at work and keeping yourself mentally busy so that you have minimal, um, attention spent on this because it's, it's take it's been a long time coming and a long time just and you're like i just need to not have to think about this anymore i just want to move on i want to do something different um, so that i don't have to keep thinking about this there's a lot more going on internally than everybody on the outside will um, know about you or realize about this it, it feels like this is something that you're going to be very private about because you might be feeling um, silly or ashamed that you had so much invested in somebody that you are going to realize didn't really have that much invested in you. It was more about situational experiences rather than who you were as a person. So this is going to be something you're going to, um, it feels like you're going to feel like you need to keep it internally and process it and deal with it. You don't want everybody else to see how much this affected you. Um. Libra. Libra. You can't do <laughs> Libra. And that's for Libra. Okay, so we got Page of Swords and we've got the Queen of Wands reverse. This is, oh gosh, didn't we have another page here? I thought we had another page. I guess we didn't. Okay, well, there he is. Page of Wands a bit. All right, so this could be being um, kind of shut down via online. This could be somebody ghosting. This could be somebody just completely withdrawing their involvement. We see that here as well. Uh, that intermittent sporadic communication, very to the point communication. This could be how they end things with you um, because it, it could be that someone expects a lot but wants to give very little. They kind of are out and about and very um they could be acting like a diva about things very expectant very what they want when they want how they want it it is about me and my agenda right now and everybody else is in service of that or i have very little to offer or give 
to them unless and even still if they are on board with that this is somebody that doesn't really regard other right now they're just really driven for their own agenda and um they're it, it just feels like they're just the the give is so little from them this could be somebody that's really career focused and they don't have much time for a relationship it could be as simple as that but this feels like it's just somebody that's very out for self and they can turn on the charm when they want something from you but then after they're done or after they get what they want they don't want you to bother them they, they're just just you know they want to do their own thing all right so i i'm sorry this was not happier um Perhaps this is forewarning, but this is, you are best served returning back to the fold where you were and not, if this person comes a knocking, if they send a message, don't. We got 10 of swords and five of swords here. This is situation specific for them. This is not about you as a person. This is about being able to get what they need from you. So don't return the text. Don't answer the door. Don't answer the phone. Don't go see them. Don't let, nope. Mm -mm. Consider other options and make plans elsewhere. This is your... You are better served elsewhere. This is not in your best interest. So, and, and the thing is, you're going to find out that you were one among many. All right. Libra, I hope this was helpful and I hope you are forewarned. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.